dragon fruiting! Oh, oh my oh. god! New challenge has to make giant edible markers, rockets using a whole bunch of life hacks, so let's go. This is the perfect life hack for peeling apples, and I'll be using these as the eraser for my pencil. This is the edible ink that's gonna go inside my Sharpie. You ready? Three, two, one, go! All right, now I just gotta grab a balloon. Were you going for another one? Yes, I'm going for another one. Three, two, one. <laughs> These are gonna be perfect ink capsules for the inside of my Sharpie. All right, Cons, I have a grand strategy for my Sharpie. We're, this is an inflatable Sharpie, yeah, and it's not what I'm gonna be using. Okay, but I'm like, we're trying to make edible ones, not just no. inflatable, that'd be so cheating. I have to make a mold for the cap of my Sharpie, so I have to fill this thing up with a normal, boring garden hose. So for mine, it's a much simpler process. I've got an apple, time to freeze it, and this will be the eraser for my pencils. I ended up filling up the Sharpie with a normal, boring garden hose. Let's get a couple of these apples out, here we now, go. Now, I got my hot ice mold. Do not try this at home. Yep, do not try this at home. I don't even know how you would. Do you need any help with this, Devin? I got your, it. Your hand looks mighty shaky. Oh, oh wait a minute. The plastic appears to be bubbling no, up, Devin. No, Devin. No, 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 Devin. No, 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 Devin. no, no, no. Devin. no. It's going to be the greatest cap ever, bro. I can already see the structural integrity is waning, Devin. I can already see your faith waning. You don't have to come at me like that, Devin. <laughs> Time to smash some apples for my eraser, so here we go. Oh, yeah. Snag my favorite hammer. How is this not going to pop, Devin? I don't know. But we're working through it, just like any relationship, you know? You're in a relationship <laughs> with this giant no, sharp no, no, balloon? Just like, you know, it's a metaphor. This just in, YouTube star Devin Key rumored to be in a relationship with a giant Sharpie marker. Rumored by one source. Himself. No, no. Back to you, Patricia. All right, here we go. Time for the smash. Ready? Three, two, two one. Oh, oh my gosh. I think it's leaking out of the bottom. You hear that sound? It's like an ice glacier cracking, dude. All right, now to make the applesauce, it's got to gather up all the pieces of the apple for the eraser over here. I'm just going to let this dry, then cover the other side, and then I got my Sharpie cap. To make the lead of my pencil, I've got some liquid nitrogen and also a bath bomb. And oh. here's the thing. What are you doing? I have rigged up an old fidget spinner here to crack some eggs with the tip of my pen. I can't even get close to it right now, yes. man. It's going so crazy. It is going... Oh! You can crack it into the bowl. Oh, you lost <laughs> another game. Hey, I got one. That ain't bad. One out of two ain't bad. Yeah, Wait, one, one out, out of three. three. That's yeah, a yeah. pretty poor percentage, Devin. Look at that. Boom. I'm not really sure how this is a life hack. It seems to make everything more complicated. All right, well, I've got my bath bomb here, and I have a question, Devin. What do you think is going to happen when no I drop... No questions a... allowed. Wait, what happens if I drop a bath bomb into liquid nitrogen, Devin? Three, two, two one... one. Whoa! I'm out, I'm out. It appears as though it's, um... It seems fine. We've got a container of water right here. Now it's time to grab the bath bomb out. Here, right, we, go. here we go. Three, two, oh, wait. wait. Three second like challenge. We want to see if you can like this video in three seconds. You ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Done. You ready? Three, two, one. Oh, man. What? Look at that! Did you hear the sound? Was, I know, it was like, boom, boom. Dude, it's not dissolving the bath bomb at all. Look at this, the bath bomb is untouched! Whoa! I'm gonna add some coloring to this dough here. Unfortunately, these are not edible, so right now it's time for me to make a DIY edible bath bomb that'll hopefully react in the exact same way. All right, well, as you do that, I'm gonna add a lot more food coloring. I've got some dry ice here. Do not try this at home. I'm gonna drop it in like this. I'm gonna add in a whole bunch of berries Wait, right now what? like that. I'm adding berries because I have to get a little bit of extra color for the lead tip of my pencil right here. So here we go, I'm gonna add all those in. I've got a whole bunch of frozen berries, and you know nice. what time it is, right? Smashing time! It is. And you know what time it is for me to make the inside felt bit of the pen? What, what is this? You're gonna pour it in, it's gonna do stuff. What a great description! There's now, a scale, reaction to it. One to ten, where are we at? Nuts. It's not even on the scale. Now, before you dump that in, then we gotta add a little bit of magic to it. Um, so here we okay. go. Okay. Like this. Whoa. And then here we go. Three, right. two, one. Three. Okay, there we okay. go. Three, two, one. Oh! oh you got it over me! Yes! I you think got it on me, bro! Oh, well, I just needed to stir it up a little bit. All right, well, you know, as you're doing that, time for me to smash some berries. So here all we go. Three, yeah. two, two, one. one. Oh! Wow. I think that works. I think so. We finally got all the pomegranate juice. Now I gotta add this agar agar. All right, well, as you do that, I'm moving over your little triangle of illuminati -ness. over here. We gotta, we gotta okay. move that over. Here we go. Gonna flip it over, make sure I don't spill Painter. any of it. And here's the- You got a pan, I got a pan. Pan bros! Yeah! Pans. We want some pans, we got some pans. All right, here we go. Gonna take right. this, uh -huh. gonna flip it over, see if I can not spill any of it. Here we go, three, two, one, yay! On the count of three, I'm gonna lift this up, and this is a hack to make sure you get beautiful colored dough every single time. Three, two, one, yay! Whoa! Oh, man, that turned murky. You know what? If I just mix all this together, it'll turn back into normal lead color, and then I won't have a colored pencil. Well, I just gotta add this in here, let it heat up, and then let it sit.
Whoa. I've got some compressed Whoa. air, and now it's right, time then. to freeze some bananas. Yep. Well, I got my agar agar, and now it's time to roll it up. This looks delicious. That's the inner lining for your Sharpie? Yeah. Life hack, always peel your bananas Ooh. from the bottom. This is for another layer of my pencil. Yes. I think I got it. All right, now this is definitely a life hack. All right, the bananas are right over here, so Whoa. here we go. Okay. It's time right. to freeze them up. Wait, wait, wait. Redemption yeet. Yeet. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> it's payback for how many times this thing's been hit by you. Since when are you on this dude's team and not my team? All right, well, time to freeze some bananas. Here we go. Three, right. two, yep. one. Let's see Whoa. if we go like this here. Oh, All right, well, I, I have to make I'm another I'm batch of this because this isn't long this. enough. What? I'm making another batch, by the way. I feel like a mad scientist over here, man. Just, just, just frosting bananas. <laughs> you never know. To make our giant edible Sharpie and pencil, I think we've got everything we need. So now, let's put it all together. We finished up the edible marker and yep. pencil. Here is the big reveal. Three, two, two one. Ta -da! Bro, Look at these, bro. I know. Unbelievable. But the real question, will they write and how will they taste? And we'll be testing it and eating them at the end of the video. Rocket launch test. Whoa, oh, dude. Man. You what? challenge us to make edible Whoa. rocket chips that will Whoa. literally fly into oh, my God. As you can tell here, I have a mini bottle rocket. Basically going to add in a whole bunch of baking soda, cork it, turn it upside down, and we're going to see how high it flies up. So oh. do not try this at home. Put the baking soda in. You ready? Three, two, two one. one. Just get all the baking soda in. Is it cap? Cork it. Yep, go for it. Three, two. No. Oh. You are right. It flew man, up in Devin. Holy cow, man. sorry, yo. And Devin's done, oh, man. man my, I gotta say, my though. stomach. In all fairness, it was you who flipped it over. I failed us, guys. You did, Devin. I think we're gonna have to I'm try sorry. that again. Devin, Kay. are you prepared to do the flip? I am ready. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm gonna do it tightly, too. We've got three, two, one. Go, 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 go! Go! Oh, yes! That's crazy! Dude, Dude nice. man, this like, flew right up and left the cork. Look at that. I don't know why I should be so excited, because that's your rocket and not mine. Exactly. Yeah. I think that's a pretty strong case that mine is going to work. With my rocket fuel, I have a big block of wax and honey. Ooh, so, look at this. Very bizarre. But I've got some eggs right here, some hot oil. Do not try this at home. Oh, oh look at that. Whoa. Holy cow. What? This is the insulation on the inside of my rocket. To be honest, I'm actually really surprised this life hack worked. Can I what? extract some of the honey here? I don't think it's going to work, Devin. You've gotten like 0.00% honey. That did not work. Yeet. You, oh, for a yeet, Devin, you didn't, yes. you didn't quite achieve a lot of distance. Well, I didn't fully commit, you know? Yeah, well, see, when you eat, you gotta fully yeah. commit! Yeet! All right, now I gotta get this chunk into the inside of All this. Right. I gotta say, I really hope this turns out to be a life hack. Yo! Whoa! Fluffy eggs! It's like a balloon egg. Oh! There you go. Ooh, yeah. gotta, oh, gotta, oh, gotta, gotta pop oh, oh, that smell. What? You don't like, you don't like oh. the smell of, of eggs? No, I don't. It's gonna kind of start to pull them apart. This is gonna be the perfect insulation for my rocket. We've got some liquid nitrogen, and now it's time to make a little bit more insulation for my rocket. So I'm gonna add in some dots, so let's see how this goes. You ready? Three, two, two one. one. It's drip whoa, in. whoa, whoa! That's too much, I'm guessing. I think I was supposed to like, Little, little dripless, little drops, and I kind of want ham. I want ham FM radio on it. So let's, uh, I, should, we, should we open it up a little bit or? I don't know. What was that joke? <laughs> was that supposed to be a joke? Okay, it looks like the life hack might have worked. It's very fragile. So let's, <laughs> yes. oh! oh! That is really cool. Look at that! It's like a Christmas wreath. It's like a bagel. Can I, can I just hold it without? Oh! oh! Man! Boy! Yeah, that definitely, uh, in hindsight, it was too fragile yeah. for me to hold a it. <laughs> I really doubt that's what you're supposed to do, exactly. man. Exactly. Let's see if I just crush it. Let's see like this. Oh, oh, that is really cool. Now it's time to find out if my technique actually worked. Three, two, one. Yeah! It separated it. Look at it. Not as much as just buying a regular hey, thing man. Honey. I'm just saying. I'm going to try to get a much thinner layer going around like this here. Ugh. What? I made an oopsie. Maybe around Look the edge. at this, man. I am definitely hoping that this honey works as my rocket fuel. I call this a smack em whack em technique. You got to smack em, whack em, and then you whack em, whack em, whack em, whack em. You know what? Forget it. Yeah, I we're just gonna put Ooh. all this in there like that. Look at this. Bam. Whoa. And let's see what happens. All right. What? The what bottle happened? went in. What happened? I dropped the bottle. Was that on purpose? This tofu thing was not the greatest idea. I think there's a chance they didn't design this for a honey. All right, now I just gotta let this thing cook. We've got an anvil, some dry ice, and now it's time to smash it. So here we go. Do not try this at home. Three, two, one. Oh, Whoa. look at that. There you go. That was perfect. Look at it, man. Dude. It perfectly powderized that it. That was crazy. And as you can see, these are cool bowl tricks. Bam, like this, and then bowl tricks. Bowls. Are you still on the bowl trick? Ah, bowl trick. Finger. What does he get? Woo. Now it's time to see if this will turn into rocket fuel. You ready? Should All I right. Be, like getting taken cover or anything? The goal is for this to be able to propel a rocket into All right, well, space. I'm gonna step back a little bit. Did so... you hear that? Into space. Yeah, I, I heard yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, but our I, atmosphere. I don't believe him. Three. Two, one, 
Quick Drop, forward. go, 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 mix, 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 mix. Did I get it? I, I do it. Is it going anywhere? Hey! Okay, look at that. Devin, look at that. That will not propel a rocket anywhere, I, I bro. Know. That's not even gonna get it off the ground. I think I messed up. But in the meantime, time for me to add this dry ice in. So here yes. we go. Time for me to drop some of this in here. And this is gonna be able to create a cryo-freeze <laughs> mixture in here. So here we go. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Well, now it's time to drop in my vermicelli right, noodles. Well, here look we go. At go this. for it. Three, two, one, go for it. Yo! Yes. Dude, this is gonna be perfect to create the protective layer for my rocket. Oh, it is overflowing. That's a little dude, bit. It's like a magic trick, bro. The wind is like puffs up, it never gets old. All right, now it's time to coat the cacti. Oh, oh look, look at that. that. This is gonna be the body of my rocket. All right, well, as you coat that, I've got a shovel here trying to slice off the top of the jackfruit. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. Look at this. That's super crazy, bro. Whoa, dude, that's so satisfying. Three, two, one. Oh, my wow. gosh. That was close. That was really close. There we go. Bam. All right, one side chopped off. You know what, man? I'm actually going for more of like a Star Wars ship design for mine. All right, now it's time to reinforce the outside with this indestructible ramen noodle mix. Is that the fuselage you're rocking? It is, Colin. So those noodles don't look too aerodynamic, I got to say. They won't be yet, but they will be when they're in the air. Now it's time to put the rockets all together. So first of all, I'm going to add my stuffing here. Oh, these eggs feel weird. What? This turned out great. I know. You really nailed it on that one. So here we go. The Dude, eggs are going to drop. You got to look at this. This is mushroom foam. No way. Yeah, because off camera, Devin blend up a ton of mushrooms. I can't believe this is what it came in to. I know, right? I'm going to add the eggs, and they definitely uh, discolored a bit, which is uh, kind of gross, but luckily mm. they're fluffy, so this is going to be the insulation for the inside of the rocket. Next up, I'm going to pick up some of these frozen dots and just sprinkle them in like this. We got a ton of work to do. I got some painting on mine. I got to figure out how to attach these to this. I'm adding an iceable coating to the outside of it to make it smooth. I probably got to just reshape it a whole bunch. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of work. We've got the edible rocket, yep. and these things turned out absolutely incredible. I know, right? I was kind of worried there for a moment. I didn't uh -huh. think they'll be able to turn out, but the real question is not how they'll taste, but will they actually fly? So here is the reveal. Three, two, two one, ta-da! What wow. on earth? We've got the edible rockets, and now it is finally time to test to see if they can actually fly in the air and reach oh the moon. Yeah, <laughs> reach the moon. That exactly. is the goal. If it doesn't reach the moon, yes. it is a massive failure. Exactly. <laughs> We've set the bar really high. Can you admire this custom yeet blaster here? Yeah, Devin was doing a lot of research on how we could launch yes. these rockets, and Devin feels this will be the best way to do it. With how heavy this thing, if this gets any flight whatsoever, like if it just gets off the ground one inch, I will be happy. Which rocket should we launch first, Devin? You know, I think let's launch mine. Devin, your pretzel's a little off, which means it's gonna traject that way. It's not gonna go straight up, it's oh, gonna be like that. Oh. The more the moment comes, yes, the less confident I am that these are actually gonna be able to fly, Devin. The more confident I am, though. This what? looks amazing. I don't know. It looks pretty professional compared to mine, but on its own, it looks pretty janky, man. What are you talking about, bro? On a scale from one to 10. Yes. How confident are you? I want you to put down your prediction right now. 10, meaning it's gonna reach the moon. Uh-huh. One, meaning it will not achieve liftoff and potentially combust. I'm about a nine. What? Yes. I gotta give it a four, man. I'm not that optimistic. I, I'm looking Yours at it. Yours is a four. No, mine is not, man. Yours it's, is a four if I've ever it seen one. It is stout and it is ready to make some action upwards, bro. Are you kidding me? I am not kidding. All right, now it's time to see this thing fly. But here's my major concern, uh -huh. Devin. My concern what? is it actually flies. It goes straight up in exactly. the air and lands on my rocket. What? Are you kidding me? Which would not be good. So here's the thing. The chances of that are so low. It doesn't matter, Devin. I will not allow your rocket to destroy mine, so I'm gonna have to protect my baby. All so right. I'm just gonna go over here. Well, here we go. And remember, do not try this at home. Oh my gosh, are you ready? Here we go. But before we launch the rocket, it's time to see how the Sharpie and pencil taste. What do you think we're gonna go with first? Uh, we'll go mine first or yours first? Let's eat yours first. All right, so here, here we go. Let's just uh, let's yeah. see how it tastes. Here we go. Three, Three two, two, one. <laughs> huh. Is it good? <laughs> one moment. <laughs> <laughs> my arms are getting tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay. Time to eat the tip oh boy. of my pencil. All right, here we go. Three, two, one's gonna give a slice yep. down like okay. this. All right. Oh, Bam. Okay. Wow. I'm gonna go for this piece I here. I like the blue. I'm going for it. Now it's time to see how this tastes. Three, here we go. Three, two, two one. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You did a good one. Wow. This is amazing. You did a really good job. Oh! Yeah. Wow. That was really, really good. You got the whole banana. <laughs> it's time to see if yours even holds a candle. The main event. What on here is edible? The I'm looking innards. at this. Cons, the innards. All That's right. it? Here we go. Three, two, one. Yep. Okay. okay. Just it off. What? <laughs> I know, right? Earth. So we're gonna go in with these tweezers wait, here. Wait, 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 wait. What? That's good. Like, it seems like you're gonna pop a membrane or something yeah, in there. Yeah, pretty much. It's the edible ink of the marker. All right, gonna put these tweezers in here and All just right. hopefully pop the thing. Go for it. I'm trying. Yo! No, 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 catch it, so catch it, catch it, I'm catching it. Yes, it up, lift it up, lift it up. Okay, okay, okay. That was, I have an idea, Devin. I know we can get more out of it. Here we go. No, 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 no. Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, no, no, no. There we go. That's pretty awesome. Oh, no, I'm trying to catch it. Oh, yeah, you're doing a great job catching it, Devin. I believe in you. Dude, put it down. All right, fine, let's hold this side of the mark. Here we go. Three, two, one. Go for it. Oh, man. Is 
it. Yep, yep, that's it. That's it. What? It's a pomegranate agar agar that I made. All right, well, I'm just going to dump yes, this out okay. real quick. Oh, here we go. Yep, yep, oh, yep, yep, yep. oh, oh man, yeah. you put paper towel in there? I did, I did. What, to insulate it? Exactly. Okay, here we go. Yep, let's yep. just, oh, just oh, unroll oh. this. Unroll it. Here we go. Three, two, one. one. Oh. Whoa, oh. a second bite for approval. A redemption, bro. I think that this balances out the badness of this, man. Devin, think about it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh -huh. Remember, this deliciousness that we both thoroughly enjoyed. Remember the reactions we had, man. It was yeah. like, it was a lot. My memory's fading a little bit, though. Yes, I guess we'll just kind of like drink it. Yeah. We drink it. It's ink, dude. All right. It's not like some dough stuff. Three, two, one. Mmm. 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 Oh. Mm. Oh! Mm -mm. Oh, man! Mm -mm. mm -mm. All right, that's enough eating. It is time to test the rocket. Three, two, one. Oh! Oh, man! <laughs> oh, it exploded. I mean, the bottle. What is oh, this? I couldn't make it work with all edible elements, so the coating is all edible, but the inside, unfortunately, is a plastic bottle. Are you kidding me? This looks like styrofoam, bro. Uh, and I use some styrofoam, what? so. You Stop. do have a bit of a plastic base, don't well, yeah, you? Yeah, just a plastic base. That's yeah, not gonna. That's like essentially what I did. <laughs> It's not my proudest moment, all right? Oh, I just can't. wanted it to work. You got like a foot of air. Sorry, I gave it a four. That was way yeah. too generous, bro. That was like a two, man. Yeah, I agree. That was really, really bad. And I got to say, I think it was some bad luck because it flew right yeah. up and down onto the pipe, which is like the worst place it could have possibly fallen onto. Yeah. So. yeah, but at least it's edible. After seeing how mine went, I don't have a lot of faith in yours. Are you but kidding? I just don't have a lot of faith. More weight Insane. means more trajectory, Devin. So yes. here we go. Next uh, up. What? No. You got to place it down over all. here. What are you here doing? Go. I got to find the, okay. uh, the right, the right yeah. point. Your hands are all weird. See, the thing is, Devin, I'm more yeah. focused on the result, not so much focused on my hand grip position. Here we go. Oh, did you get it? Did you actually get it? What does it look like? <laughs> I don't know. Yes, I got it. The right. workings of yours. There we go. That's, uh, are you sure that's high enough? Because the other thing. Oh, yeah, I got yeah. it. I guess I got it. We'll have to, I'll have to oh. lift it up. What? It went down. Okay, look. well, okay, I'm trying. I'm doing my best. I'll figure all this out before it goes. But here's a question, sure. Devin. Scale yes. of one to 10, what do you think my rock is going to be able to achieve? <laughs> After seeing mine, I don't think I can go above a one. <laughs> so, a zero. What? Come on. Yeah, I mean, I just have to be honest. Honestly. Yes. I think I could get a three. Three, one, which would be a win because yours got a two. Oh, I wait, really wait, need wait. a three but to win. Who actually set the two? Me. The so guy. I set this one then. Okay, you fine. Ready? Yes. You I get... think it's going to be below a two. See, the thing is, you know it's not fair when the judge is already prejudging your work before it's even happened. One thing I will say I'm a little bit insecure about is the lack of a point on my rocket. As you can yes. tell, I have I've ruined the cone. Hey, but it was all in good fun because we ate it. Yeah, so but see, delicious. the thing is, it's now no longer aerodynamic and it might capture extra air instead of being uh -huh. able to slice through it. Well, it served a greater purpose. Exactly. It made me it tasted good. So, uh, um, well, not really. Yeah, see, the I'm judge, he's already biased, man. He doesn't like my apple to begin with. This is not fair. Comment down below on a scale of one to ten how high you think this rocket will be able to go. A ten? Two. So, uh, less than a two. I want to see a lot of tens in the comments, guys. Comment a lot of tens so I know you're with me. So let's, uh, not gonna work. Let's see how it goes. All right, here we go, man. I can do hear it, it sizzling, bro. It's, it's making not good. Sound. All right, here we go. You ready to get behind yeah. me, dude? Get, oh, get back get, over here. Okay, all right, here right. we go. And you know why yours failed, Devin? Yeah. Because you forgot to reach. So, for oh, mine, I'm gonna man. give it a three. Here we go. Three, two, one, One right. right. Oh! I gotta get it. I gotta get it. <laughs> Dude, oh, yours didn't go anywhere. What do you mean? This, this, this went to the moon. I'm sorry, Colin. What? Was that a bottle? Yeah, well, you know, I had to put something in the middle so it didn't blow up. Was this a bottle? It was. Did you cheat too? Just like you, I realized there was no way this was actually going to be able to fly. So I needed one me? inedible part. So I chose a bottle. I did not also go for styrofoam that like you did. It's hilarious. You should also get points removed, Devin. Yes. Using styrofoam. Mine was all edible besides just a bottle, okay? I can't believe we both thought we would get away with this. I thing. know. The only thing that flew out was the bottle. The rest of the thing didn't even fly. And the apple. So here's the thing, Devin. I yeah. want to see how difficult it would be to make this actually fly. All I'm right. just going to yeet it. In this case, give it a reach. So I guess right. I'm just going to throw it up in the air. Right. Three, Three, two, one. Yeet it right. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. oh. All right. Nice. Well, I got to say, those definitely did not work as well as no. we hope. Who challenged us to make a pizza into a balloon, so let's go. First up, I'm adding some sauce. And for my sauce, I got some tomatoes here, so bam, like that. Whoa, right, here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Next up, I'm laying down a pesto base. That actually looks super cool. Wait, so what are you doing? I'm making pizza art, and I'm doing Chuck from Angry Birds. The only thing that's missing is just a smidge of seasoning. Here we go, just a smidge of seasoning. <laughs> Boom, there we go. A smidge, dude? That's a full mountain. You know what, to try to compensate for how much it smells, we're going to add some red sauce to it to try to get the more authentic sauce. Perfect, just like that. Dude, mine is not turning out, but I promise, it's 
gonna look good. Oh, my hand is exactly one cup of flour. So here we go, it's gonna add some flour on just like this. Next step for me is making the feathers. I've got my pieces cut, and now it's time to assemble them on Chuck. This is uh, this is what we call my sauce. Just gotta add all this in, you know, just gotta add my sauce in, so here we go. Yeah. It's so cool, because you will never find this on a Papa John's or Pizza Hut menu, bro, because this is a pizza, a key bro's pizza. Do you know what my pizza's missing right now, Devin? Uh, restraint? No, it's missing pineapple! I love pineapple on my pizza, bro, it's the best thing ever! And now it's time to turn these into actual pizza balloons, so we've got the top dough crust. Yep. Here we go, it's gonna flip it over like this. Now it's gotta get it to fall off, so here we go, uh -huh. it's gonna have to try to maybe spin it a little whoa, bit on my, on my knuckles. All here right. we go, it's whoa, gonna spin whoa, like whoa, that. Whoa, okay, nice, oh nice. boy. I'm pinching it together right now, so that when we inflate it, it won't leak any air. And I'm not doing anything good. Before we inflate the pizza balloons, as you can see, there's a mound on Devin's, and that is a light bulb, a heat lamp, in fact. They'll be cooking our pizzas from the inside out. It's time to blow up the pizza balloons, and I'm gonna be using this straw. Dude, that's gonna take forever, bro. I've got a high-pressure air pump right now. Wait, Check what? this out. Yup. Three, two, one. Oh! oh no! <laughs> Whoa! You know what? I think I'll stick to the straw technique, and right now it's time to inflate these. Dude, these pizza balloons look like a dragon egg, so here's a big reveal. Ready, set, go! Ta-da! That Dude. looks so crazy, man. It looks like a dragon might actually pop out of this. So you get to comment down below whose do you think will look cooler, because we'll be cutting them open and eating them at the end of the video. You challenge us to try egg art, so let's go. First up, we gotta crack a whole bunch of eggs and separate the yolks from the egg whites. Now that we've got the egg whites and the yolks separated, it's time to add the food coloring. I'm making Jafar from Aladdin. And I'm making Sweet Pea from The Secret Life of Pets 2. Wait, is yours this runny? Yeah, it's way runnier than pancake batter. No, look at mine's like a soup. Do you have egg yolks or egg whites? Egg yolks. Oh, that's what? why. You have well, you egg whites? I didn't know, okay? I just I thought, you know, any part of the egg will do. This will just be a red border, a red outline. Beautiful sunset sky. That's what that's what I'm doing over here. Instead of giving him a black hat, I'm gonna give him a blue hat. See, you're taking some creative liberties when it comes to your guy. Yep. Let's uh let's get a little bit of black down for an eyeball. So here we oh, go. Oh no, it's running over the line. Devin. Pancake batter doesn't do this. You're gonna be in big trouble, bro. This is a completely different medium here. So hopefully Did you just use the word medium? I did, Devin. I'm proud of you, Is It's a completely different large than normal. Is that what? No. <laughs> that one wasn't right. All right, my dude's got some green eyes, so here we go. We'll give him some green eyes right here. He's gonna have two connected eyeballs. Oh, he has a little nose. No, that's his eye, Devin. He's, what? That's not even that his is? nose. Oh, man, I did the wrong color in the wrong spot. He's gonna have one red strand on one side. That's not right, Devin. You're probably gonna lose this. Looking at mine, looking pretty good. No, dude, what is going on? Dude, you see this, bro? Wait. It's flaking up, it's man. Flaking up. What's is going it, on? Why is it coming apart right now, bro? Dude. This is gonna ruin my entire art. The eyes are so different on this thing. Well, I guess we gotta continue to fill it in over here. Try to maybe thicken it up a little bit. Yeah. This may look like the pancake art challenge, but I promise you it is very, very different. I'm gonna try to give my guys some little teeth. I really should have gone for the yolks, man. This egg white was a terrible idea. You know what? I'm stopping with the green for a second. We gotta turn this up. We gotta roast. We gotta let them solidify a little bit. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump you. One of the cool things though is that you can use the egg whites for anything white. I got it. Gonna add in a whole bunch of yellow to fill in the rest of it here like this. I'm also noticing that this stuff runs out much faster. So there we go. Boom. Yellow is in. <laughs> look at this thing, bro. I don't know what's going on with oh, this. Oh, man. I'm gonna try to add an extra layer to the top. Oh my gosh, look at this. There's oh. just all this weird looking foam on the inside of this. Oh, what is that? This is legitimate foam right here. I have no idea what's happening. It may not look that cool on this side, but I guarantee you when we flip it, it's going to look amazing. Mine's all filled in. Now it's time to let it cook. All right, well, mine is fully cooked and it smells disgusting in this room right now. I'm gonna kind of go under like this. It's, it's like kinda... rubber. I'm gonna need an extra one. Can you grab some spatula? Yeah, yeah, yeah I got you, team I got effort. you, I got you. No, no, you split it, you split it. You broke off the top of it. On the count of three, we're just gonna kind of go up and flip over. Which way flip over? Uh, that way. Three, three two, two, one. No! Oh, 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 oh. Ah, it's hot, it's an egg. To be honest, I can't even tell which side is which, so hopefully yours turned out better than mine did. Oh my gosh, it comes up so oh, easy. It's so rubbery, it's crazy. Ready, set, go. Oh, oh my oh, gosh, you yes. did it. Even the colors are so vibrant, even though it's just made out of eggs. So you get to comment down below who won this round and we'll be eating them at the end of the video. You challenge us to make a watermelon pump, so let's go. First thing, I'm gonna gut my watermelon. It's time to use my immersion blender. All right, bro, well, we're gonna go in tandem. Let's, let's, let's clink blenders. Eight, Three, two, two, one. Oh man. See how it just goes right through, bro? It is like legit amazing. Oh my gosh. Uh, my eye. I'm oh, sorry, did it get in your eye? Bro, this has gotta be one of the greatest inventions of all time, bro. Just spray it out. It like sucks it down. I don't know where it might coming out of, but like it must be like leaking out of the top or something. It's coming out of the top. <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! Oh my gosh! We gotta close it up, bro. It's like going everywhere, bro. What are you go. doing? I don't know, we gotta what close it up, bro. It's all on my oh. brain. Hold it in place, bro. This is 
an emergency, Devin. Duck tape actually did his Dude, job. Dude, that so, actually uh, worked out. Back in we go. Wait, you're going again? Absolutely. Are you gonna man. poke another hole? Nah, probably not. You know what? I want to get some extra flavors into my watermelon juice. So here we go. We're gonna add in some uh, some blueberries into it. Gotta get some uh, some raspberries in here like this. Now we gotta mash them down. So here we go. It's gonna go like this. Mine's all blended oh, up. Whoa, 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 whoa! You ready for the pour? Three, two, one. Uh, oh, oh. You're splashing it, bro. I got a clog. You know what it needs, bro? Some sweetness. I'm gonna add some honeycomb right here. Oh my gosh, bro! It blends up the honey. Oh my gosh! Push it down into the watermelon. Oh. Snap. Oh, oh, three, two, one. Oh, man. It's a little bit more. Oh, oh boy. I gotta say, man, this gotta be the greatest smoothie of all time. Next up, we got the pump on top. All right, here we go. Gonna take the duct tape like this, and then we're gonna start over here like that. There we go. This is uh, this is working out great here. So here we go. It's going to uh, pull it over here. Right, I think we need to use some glue, actually. Ah. And remember, don't try this at home. You got the completed watermelon. And let's see if they work. No, 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 no. We'll be trying that at the very end of the video. You challenge us to make cement art, so let's go. I right, got a cup of cement powder here. It's gonna add this in. Nice. Oh, man. Nice. All right, there we go. Whoa, dude, this is like bubbly. Look at that. Whoa, that's crazy. I gotta say, I've never worked with cement before, and I had no clue you could actually make cement art. This is a process you wanna be very careful with. You do not want this stuff going everywhere. So do not try this at home. Oh my gosh, I can feel it starting to come together, bro. What if it just turns into the Whoa. cement inside the bottom of this, bro? Like, I gotta go quick. I hope not. You may be wondering what type of art I'm actually gonna be making. I'm making a bowl out of cement hands for my cereal. First up, I gotta blow up a glove. Wait, you're just making a hand? Whoa. <laughs> Mine's not looking that green. I gotta add more food coloring. All right, so next up, here we go. Gonna place a glove on the inside just like this and gotta wrap the edges around the outside of this vase. Whoa, what? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm just checking to make sure it works. I think it's gonna work. That didn't look like it worked at all. Wait, so what are you making for your art, though? I'm making a dragon face. Maybe... Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm going for a paper mache technique. I'm gonna dip these pieces into my cement and then onto the face mask. Well, you're goofing with that, Devin. I gotta ask goofing. you, what does this look like to you, man? What does this look like? Cement. What kind of drink does it look like? It looks like a cement-filled drink. No, it looks like a protein shake. I don't know what kind of protein shakes you're drinking, dude, but I... that does not look like mine. I gotta say, man, I've never actually shooken up cement. Is that the word, shooken? I, I don't know, dude. Now, time to fill up the glove. So here we go. Just gonna tip it over like this. Yeah, whoa. Why are you doing that so All close right, to me? Go, and then wow. go all the way over, all the way over. You're, it's like this. Wow. Whoa! Right, here we go. It's gonna peel. Ah! Oh boy, it got everywhere. I gotta say, bro, this is pretty funky looking, man. Look at this bouncing up and down. It looks more like a jellyfish than an actual glove and a hand. All right, here we go. So right now, time to tie off the top of it. <sighs> a little tough there. Next up, time to turn the cement hands into a little bowl. So here we go. Gonna add in my glove with a natural plop. Here we go. Three, two, Wait. one, natural plop. What's an unnatural plop? This. Wait That's a second. unnatural sec. plop. More like paranormal activity. Well, paranormal plops is kind of what I was going for there. I wonder if you could go to Home Depot and Lowe's and actually like find these little cement hands, bro. Psych, you could never because they're original. All right, just putting the finishing touches on my mask and this thing is gonna look awesome. Oh boy. This actually turned out just like a dragon. And here's a big reveal, three. Two. Oh, oh we got five second subscribe challenge. We want to see if you can subscribe to this channel and turn on the channel post notifications in five seconds. You ready? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, done. done. You can do a comment down below, Keeper Squad, right now. Ready, set, go, ta-da! Oh my gosh, bro, that Dude. is crazy. And you get to comment down below whose cement art turned out better, and we'll be hydro dipping them at the end of the video. You challenge us to make a whole bunch of different flavored kebabs with a homemade kebabing machine, so let's go. To make the kebab, you're gonna cut a plastic bottle in half, take a PVC elbow, drill a hole in it, and then glue that on the top of the bottle. Take a can, sanitize everything, and you're ready to go. We've got a whole bunch of food mixtures, and now it's time for Devin and I to battle it out to see who can make more kebabs. So I'm it off with shrimp right now. And I'm doing mac and cheese. Oh, a big old handful of shrimp. Yo, this yep. stuff is congealed. It's kind of like pop it in here like this. No, you don't pop it in, Cons. You pack it in. And then I'm gonna take a skewer here. We're actually gonna go through it. We're gonna push yep. it down on the count of three. You ready? Ready, set, set go. go. I'm just gonna push it down first. All right, you Let's gotta see push it gonna down. Go. I think oh it's my going. gosh, bro. Look at it. Look at it. It's right there. Oh, this. skewer goes through. Oh, and then keep going. Yes, yes! <laughs> Look at that! There we go, Yours man. actually totally works. All yes. right, so the first one, a success. As you start your next one, I'm gonna try again. This thing has to work, and man. you know what, man? I'm going for pasta because I'm gonna show you that I can make the noodles work, oh, bro. You might be failing, yes. but I'm winning. Oh, yes. snap. Yes. Yo, it's kebabing, bro. No, it's not. Wait, in, in what kebab, world right, is that kebabing? I'm gonna start with sushi next. It may have only kebabed a little piece of noodle, but that's all I need. So here we go, gonna place this Wait down. Wait a second. We'll be eating this one here. This one's gonna be delicious. <laughs> so that, that didn't actually work. And I got a two-prong kebab because next I'm gonna do my chips and guacamole. Whoa. Let's see here. Oh boy. It's not quite kebabbing that well. All right. That didn't Whoa. kebab at all. Yes. All right, this one turned out a little funky, but we're on to the next one. It's a half kebab. It, it, it's a it's a half kebab. For my final one here, I got a plus sign and some sweet potatoes here. So here we go. Oh, nachos, go. don't fail me. All right, here we go. Sweet potatoes gonna go in like this. I don't have a good feeling about this one. Three, 
two, two one. one. Just gotta get it started first. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh, oh man, what? it's coming out all sides. Oh. What is going Whoa. on? I gotta lay these down and then try oh. to kebab them right here in my hand. Uh oh, man. I'm splitting one open. Here we go. All right, there we go. It's gonna kebab a little bit over man. here. Oh my gosh. Oh. It's just so difficult. I don't think this one works, man. We've got the kebabs. Time to cook them, and we'll be seeing how they taste at the end of the video. You challenge us to make moon sand. I'm kicking it off with my regular sand and adding food coloring. And I'm kicking off some soap. So here we go. It's gonna add some soap in like this. Oh, it looks like the ocean is coming all onto the beach right now, man. There Whoa, we go. That should be enough soap. That looks so there awesome. we go. Just a dash of soap. Oh man, I gotta say, it's definitely turning a little clumpy, but hey, it's kind of like turning into moon sand already, man, with just two ingredients. What do you mean? Smells good. Time to spray it with some water. Wait, we have water spray? Yes. Oh, that's cool. You want some? No, 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 no,
Let's right go. off of it, bro. Now it's time for the ultimate bucket test. So, yeah, Devin, I'm you ready? confident in this. Three, two, one. Oh, man. Yeah, the only thing that's wet is my socks. The pants are still fully intact. Yeah. This stuff is incredible. Yeet. Let's go to the next one. Got the pizza balloons. They are fully cooked, and I can't wait to see what yours looks <laughs> yeah. like. So right now, Devin, let's slice these things open and do not try this at home. All right, here we go. It's going to cut this thing open. Oh, man, what Whoa. is going on? Whoa, what is that? What Whoa. is going on? I don't know, man. Hold wait, on. why is your I don't know. So I, think I think it's ripped. Oh, oh my gosh, bro. What? Yep. Now let's try to cut this open from a different place. So here right. we go. And then just uh, give it a little tear back, I guess, yep. like that. Okay. Oh. I can't wait to see how my art turned out. Three, two, one. Ta -da! Oh my gosh, Whoa. bro. I gotta say, man, I think the recipe for my pizza is called Squeetza. It's the way the mound is discharged oh. across the cutting board. Time to see how this pineapple on pizza tastes. Oh man, All this right. looks delicious. Yeah, right. Here we go. Three, two, two one. Ah! Ah! How have I never tried this before? Oh my oh. goodness. No, <laughs> this is so good. Pineapple on pizza is amazing. Oh man. Oh. The combo is so good, dude. I'll be right back. You okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm all good. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, well, you guys get to comment down below who's do you think was better, and now we're on to the next round. Good Lord! We've got the cement art. And I spent some serious time painting mine, but now it's all about the marbling of yours. Now, for the marbling, this is really cool. I'm going to start off with red, but we've got a whole bunch of colors. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. my God. All it needs is just one drop. Drop a red, drop a blue, drop a red. This is one of the coolest art challenges we've ever done right here, man. Oh, my gosh. It's so satisfying. So I actually think mine needs to be wider to fit over the glove. So I'm going to pull it out from the middle and make what? it into a little star. Dude, this is super cool, man. All right, here it is. The moment of truth. Time to do the marbling. Ready, set, go. All right, straight down. Oh, man. Straight oh, down. Oh, snap, dude. It got on both sides. Wait, wait, how did you it take it out? How did you take it out? Three, two, one. Oh, oh my gosh, bro. What? These actually turned out so incredible. You get to comment down below whose cement art do you think is cooler? And right now, we're on to the next one. We've got the watermelon pumps, and now it's time to see if it actually works. So here we go, man. Ready, set, go. Go! Oh! No yes. way, bro! This Look totally this. works! Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Oh! oh. I think I broke the seal. Uh oh, oh it's gotten very it. sad. All right, well, let's see how these things taste. Ready, set, go! go. So refreshing! Bro, comment down below, what is your favorite food? We should turn into a pump and we're on to the next one. We've got the moon sand art and now it's time to get satisfying. So Devin, time to slice these and then smush them. Gotta get perfect what? with it. Oh my gosh. Uh -oh. This is so satisfying uh -oh. feeling. Dude, look at that at the bottom right there, bro. There's so many different colors. The slicing is the way to go. Yo, this stuff looks like a rainbow, man. And you guys gotta try this at home because this is so much fun. This color combo is so satisfying. Yo, I gotta say, man, this stuff totally reminds me of slime. Right now, we're on to the next one. We've got all our kebabs and I gotta say man these look pretty interesting I'm kicking off with this one right here and I gotta say uh. this kebab is questionable at best oh man that one's gonna taste interesting hey. all right here we go three, three two, two one Oh no that's actually not bad oh man I think I did a good <laughs> job what was that again oh no man all right next up I'm doing mac and cheese and next up I'm doing pasta so here we go this pasta one's gonna be great hey. oh wow that looks delicious Collins you got so much there best kebab yet three two one that's the best one so far. And last but not least, I got my shrimp stick. And I got my sushi. This was not good. Woo! Three, two, two one. one. You know, Whoa. I normally like sushi, but... Dude, the shrimp kebab was actually amazing. Well, kebab shrimp, you won. The mac and cheese was the winner for me, for sure. Comment down below what is your favorite food you would love to see as kebab, and we're on to the next one. We've got our egg art, and now it's time to find out which one is going to taste worse. So I guess we'll just kind of go for a bite on it. Ready, set, go. Hey! Oh, 